This is the starting. So sending your shoulders forward when it comes to the height of the shoulders. And then bring the arms, the hands back as if you are holding a ball. And the requirement for this pose is the full evenness and full straightness. The top of your head should be even so that your head is straight. The shoulders should be even so your body is straight. And the feet should be even so your strength, your force is straight. And your mind, your heart is even so your chi is straight. And you think of this for evenness, for straightness three times. After you think of this, you think of the four characters Chen sinking, Mang Chen Fo floating, rising, Mang fullness, Kong emptiness. So Chen sinking is your Bai Hui, top of your head, sinking downward. Fu is rising, floating, is the bubbling well point, is rising, floating up. Mang, fullness, means the Ming Men is full. And Kong emptiness refers to the Shanzhong point, the middle of your chest needs to be empty. So this this is the, the activity of your mind and uh, that's the intent, your E, uh, during the standing pose. And, and all these uh, requirements also uh, are seen in the single exercise. Every move needs to fall even as full straightness. All the movements needs to sinking, floating, fullness and emptiness. Uh, these eight characters, these eight requirements are in all movements. When you are doing the whole form, it's the same. Your E, your mind, is uh, thinking of these eight characters. Always thinking this. So you checking yourself, am I straight? Am I full, empty, thinking, floating? Even when, I, when I'm working with the wood ball, it still needs to check if you have all the eight characters. Still is the sinking, floating, fullness, emptiness. That's why all these movements are governed by the E, the mind. The E and the mind is moving 
the limbs and the body. And this is taught by my first teacher, Zhang Changxing. And my second teacher is Lu Guiyao. And he taught me to do every movement just like the Grandmaster Wu Yihui, each move, one move after another, each move he's, he was correcting. So that's how I learned the standard moves that Master Lu Guiyao taught me. My third teacher uh, is Liang Qizhong. And this teacher taught me about the theory in Liu He Ba Fa moves. And Liang, teacher Liang told me that there were four difficulties in learning a form. And the first difficulty it was is it's easy to learn a form, but it's uh, difficult to know the form. And it requires the to do the form, to start the form with the the body. Oh, when you when you talk about the form, it's not your mouth is talking about the form, as your body is speaking the form. The second difficulty is it is easy to learn a form, but it is difficult to find a good teacher. So when you are, are doing a form, not only you need to know the theory, also you need to know the movements. You need to, your body needs to know how to move. And the third difficulty is, it is easy to learn the form, but it is difficult to be consistent. And the fourth difficulty is, it is easy to learn the form, it is uh, difficult to remain doing that form. And this teacher taught me a lot of uh, things about the form. And the teachers, what the teachers told me mostly about health, promoting health, life preserving. And uh, Zhang Changxing and Liang Qizhong all uh, was 
all were teaching me uh, the things about fighting, but I wasn't interested, so I didn't learn how to fight. Because all I wanted back then was to have a good health. I didn't want to fight or learn how to fight. Uh, that's why I learned very little about the martial applications of Liu He Bafa. I was uh, very interested in how to use this form to preserve life, improve health. I didn't have much in intent of uh, how to fight. Uh, in order to play Liu He Bafa well, you uh, need to uh, play with the wood ball. 